you want to take shelf brackets of some kind and mount them onto some kind of cinder block. Maybe not beat up cinder block like this, but you want to get these on here and then get something like this on there, right? Today, I'm going to show you how. Ready? Here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. I'm going to try and be a little clairvoyant here. You went to the hardware store. You bought a masonry bit and some kind of hardware to hang your brackets on here. And you took your regular oil drill and it went nowhere. So then you went to the internet and you found Eric. Welcome. This is a cinder block. Um, this one's a little dirty because it's been in my basement. This wall's a little dirty. But what I'm gonna show you, uh, the techniques are the same. The challenge here is you have to drill through this to hang something on the wall. And that can be daunting, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. You need a couple tools though, okay? What you're missing is this and some knowledge. This is a hammer drill. Don't be daunted by that name. This is an amazing tool that I think you should consider adding to your toolbox. I've had this one forever. I've used it a lot and it was inexpensive. I'll link below in the show notes where to buy this thing and what it is. But what it does in addition to turning, it is percussive, it hammers. So it takes this drill bit and goes kakunk, kakunk, kakunk all while turning it at the same time into the cement. That is key. I keep dropping, hold on, I drop, hold on. If I was organized, I'd actually get things done. All right, so you want brackets on here. There's a couple ways you can do it, but basically you're gonna need some sort of screw into there, right? I really like, oh, they're gonna drop them. Uh, I really like these. These are a masonry lag bolt. Um, a commercial name is Tapcon, or I think Tapper is another one. But um, it's a double threaded lag bolt. I think these are just fine for some angle brackets to hold up a wooden shelf. Uh, if you're holding up a very heavy TV, you might need some thicker, bigger ones. Lead anchors are another choice. I like these when it's not as heavy of a thing that you're going to hang. These are lead. You don't want to handle them too much because um, they're lead. But see on the side here, the diameter of the drill bit you need. I'll link to a drill bit kit as well. Masonry drill bits, not regular drill bits, okay? But you look on the side here, what diameter do you need? Drill the hole, put this in, put the screw in, butter. The masonry lag bolts have a specific diameter um, drill bit that you need. I just, a lot of times I just buy a new one because I wear these out. The trick here is when we're drilling this in, straight in, straight out. Don't round it out because it, this won't be able to bite then. Learn from me. Who's rounded out this? So I'm going to show you how to do both of these. I have to mount well, it's a water pump. It's a cast iron water pump from my spring. It's part of a longer video making. These are what I want to use, but for you, I'm going to show you how to do these as well. Um, come along, let's go. So when we're figuring out where we want this to be for drilling the holes, do not drill into the masonry joints. Not here, not here. You want to drill into the cinder block itself, okay? Use a small level to make sure your bracket is level. That's important. First, the lag bolt, okay? Ear protection, no, eye protection and ear protection is a must. This drill makes a lot of noise and it'll throw out cement, so careful. Bigger drill bit for the lead anchor, okay? There is a lot of dust when drilling cement. Put your shot vac or your vacuum or a dustpan right underneath it 
sucks all of it out. If you're doing this in someone's living room, put a vacuum underneath it, then drill, okay? Learn from me, what have I done before? Dust everywhere. Lead anchor goes into the wall. Stick around to the end here because once we get the brackets up, we still have to test the weight. Did I actually do what I'm, do I know what I'm, do I know what I'm talking about? You wanna know that, right? So stay to the end. This in there, brackets on, weight on, see what happens. So to put in the concrete lag bolts, you have two choices. Impact driver, I really like these, I'll link below. I'll link below to all the tools I'm using. Or a ratchet. First time out, consider using a ratchet because if you spin this out, because you can put this in too tight and rip out the cement that's holding this in, you have to redrill the hole. So um, I'll show you both ways, okay? Don't over tighten this, okay? Like that. And stop. Nice. So look at this. This is the lead anchor screw here. Much thinner. This is much more robust, but it just depends on how much weight you're going to hang as to which one of these to use, okay? Lighter weight, heavy weight. Okay, while you and I are working in the basement here, you're wondering, I'm wondering, where are my trusty assistants? Let me show you. So I've got a level across the two brackets here. I'm making sure I'm not going into uh, the cement seam. That looks good. That looks level. Make the marks and drill. Did you notice something there? I had the drill set on reverse. Yeah, don't do that. You should always do kind of an idiot weight test before you put the very special thing on the shelf, you know? There's more Garden Fork videos. It should be right here. It's more of me. You and I want to continue our journey together today. That's a beautiful thing. Those are beautiful videos. Let's go together to the next one. All right?